Hey everybody, this is Melvin with TechRunner 24-7 and in today's video we want to show you how to delete your Google Voice and your audio activity history on your Android device. Now for demonstration purposes today we're using our Galaxy Note 8 and the first thing you need to do to be able to delete your Google Voice and audio activity history is you need to go to the Google search app. And so I have a Google folder here which I save all my Google programs, their icons here and now uh, open that up and then we're going to go to Google search and once you go into Google search here if you notice at the top right hand corner you see my tech running 24 7 icon and that's because I'm signed into my Google email tap that to open it and once it's open it opened then we will go here to the top where it says manage your Google account so open that once that's open we would look at the pay attention to the menu where the top is here and we would go to data and personalization now once that's open we're gonna scroll down to where we see voice and audio activity go ahead and tap on that to open it now once that's open uh, you would come down to where you would see manage activity tap that and it will open it with a browser and now you're in the voice and audio activity now this will show you the different things that you've done with Google Voice or with the Google app as far as uh, using your voice to search for different things like with the app here uh, I asked the question what's going on and it saved it but anyway here's some different things here's with the assistant I was asking how old is Jennifer Lopez now what makes this interesting about the voice and the audio history is that Google records your voice every time you ask it something and this is just a, for instance check out this and so it saved that question so it's saving everything you ask it and um, that's through the assistant the assistant would be probably like if you have a Google home device that you have you know throughout your house that you ask it questions that you use to you know dim your lights or check your surveillance cameras or you know even to change the temperature on your thermostat and you have other things other than the assistant you have your Google app which is generally used on your phone you know you might uh, hit it on your phone to ask it a question and so Google is saving all of those questions that you ask so now if you want to delete those this is how you would delete them like say for instance we're going to delete this one the way if you just want to delete one of the um, files you would just hit these three dots here and it was says detail and delete you hit delete and it will remind you that this will be deleted permanently you hit it and it's deleted now if you want to delete everything that you've done for the day you can go up here to the top where it says today and over to the right hand side there's a waste basket you can hit that and it will remind you too for June 9th you're going to delete all the activity so you can hit delete so everything is gone from today so now we see there's yesterday still and there's June 7th June 6th and so on now if you want to delete several days or a month or so on you can go up here to the top where it says filter by day and product by date and product tap that and let's say if we want to delete uh, the uh, voice and uh, audio activity between June 2nd and June 4th we would hit this calendar right here and say we want to delete June 2nd then here we would say June 4th and then we would select what do we want to delete do we want to delete stuff that was saved by the assistant or the voice and audio so we're going to select all of them both of them and then you hit apply and then it will verify what is about to delete before it does it so this is June 4th and as you scroll up you would run into June 3rd and of course uh, June 2nd and then at the very bottom it says looks like you reached the end and so go back up here to the top and then you would hit the three dots here and then it, you can hit delete results and when you hit the delete results it'll ask you again are you sure you want to delete it you go ahead and delete it and it will get rid of everything between June 2nd and June 4th so that's about it for our video for today how to delete your Google voice and audio activity history on your Android device 
So hopefully we shared something that you can use and something that was beneficial. If so, be sure to hit the uh, like button down below. And don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button. And also hit the bell icon too, so you can be notified of new content as soon as we release it. And again, this is Melvin with Tech Running 24-7, bringing you technology that's on the move. Thanks.